My sister putting them the medicine because they have sore eyes. O si Gia na po, mga gipang piskat. Linya sa gipang piskat. Number? Number two. Ah, number one na siya. Number two na siya. Ah, si Impress may number two. If number two, number three, or number four. Ah, number one, what does it? Ikaw, may plano ka? Hoy! Sonar! Plano ka? Hi guys! We are here in Don Macchiatos. We are buying an iced coffee because they have a promo for their opening for the this Don Macchiatos. And they use a vlogger to promote their business. The, yeah, the vlogger's name is Patwick and Abby and also Aline. They are young vloggers. This is very good way to promote the business buildings, collaborating with the workers. So yes guys, aside from milk tea, these coffee shops like this, uh, caramel or matcha coffee or dark coffee, this is booming business here in Lapu Lapu City right now. People will buy of any ages. They will patronize these products. Hi guys, we are here in Maktan. We are going to a ramen house. This is very trending and me and my sister will tr will gonna try and this is our dinner We are here in Sugoi. It means excitement or overwhelmed. It is Japanese word Sugoi ramen junior can I know? Can you? Junior yeah. Unsa may lain? Gyoza, three pieces, karang. Ip. Dah lagi kat sini ip tempura. Ani? For one hundred forty. Three pieces. Fifty five ang takoyaki three pieces. Not available. Kau nampi? Kita melayan junior dayon. So there you go guys, we just ordered. They are located here in Maktan and they are open Monday to Sunday and 4 p.m. till 11 p.m. in the evening. So this is our order guys. We have Junior Ramen. So this is 99 pesos per serving and in this serving it has like miso soup or seaweed soup, shiitake mushroom, fish cake, chasu, hard boiled egg. Yeah, it's delicious. Itadakimasu minasan! Yeah, let's eat guys! You girls selling? We are selling stickers. Okay, this is 10, 10 pesos and this is 5 pesos. And this is the freebies 
This is all the freebies. Oh, that's the big stickers are 10 pesos. Yes, because they cost 10 pesos when we started. To Let me see what are those stickers. Big other the freebies. The freebies? What are the freebies? This is not a freebies, the unicorn. It's just for selling 3 pesos. And the clip is not selling because that is, that is a shayla's clip. We just use her mom. Yeah. Bye now. Hi guys, how are you doing? I hope everybody's doing good. I mean, everybody's eating all right. Everyone is full. So right now, I'm currently um, working on my next upload. So this week, just like just um a little bit of live update. So um, I started um, doing live streams again. I guess if I can, especially on weekend. So yeah, I had it was a fun day. It is it is okay. I had live streams and went out somewhere with my sister to have some food. So anyway, so yeah, right now in Lapu Lapu City, I think it's in the whole Cebu that we are experiencing sore eyes or what we call as biscuit. So um, uh, my daughter and her cousins are having biscuit sore eyes. So as much as possible, I did not for one month already. I guess I did not, um, I did not touch my eyes, and then if I do, I make sure to sanitize my hands first before touching my eyes or using a clean fabric or towel to touch my eyes. So that's it. That's the very first thing I do to so that I'm making sure that I won't get the sore eyes. Because it's really too hassle when you have to file, you have to file for sick leave because you, we are not allowed, okay? Because it's contagious. We are not allowed to work we, if we have sore eyes. So I'm scared of having a sick leave. Too hassle in my part, you know, filing a sick leave. So anyway, guys, um, I noticed in, I noticed in Lapu Lapu that uh, most of, yeah, I noticed three. I noticed a lot of things with the booming businesses here in Lapu Lapu City, but I just got three things, um, uh, to be exact. And that is first thing is, it is making business about food, and um, and we have um, we I noticed that um, there are many not just one food parks here. So I think um, like uh, food parks, three food parks already or four. Busta, it's more than too many food parks here already, but here are the kind of businesses that booms here in Lapu Lapu and uh, people are buying it because first for the food, the taste, it is very relatable to the locals. Yes, that's the first main thing, the food and the taste. In 2023, I noticed there's a lot of um, uh, coffee. Yeah, that that one we buy in Don Macchiatos. But that, there's that's just not one coffee shops or like mini coffee uh, stalls here in Lapu Lapu. There are a lot. Um, Uncle Brew, Don Macchiatos. It's not a milk tea, guys. It's just a coffee with um, a summer caramel, dark coffee, iced coffee. I mean. Iced coffee with caramel or matcha, dark coffee, dark iced coffee, so like that. And uh, number two is the price. So I noticed that people will go there because of the price. The price are like less than 100 or like around two digits only. So like we went to ramen. It is very trending right now in Lapu Lapu City and it is located in Mactan and um, so yeah it is just 99 pesos and you can get a bowl of ramen and uh, so yeah the junior size but it's enough servings already and um, so yeah 99 or lesser but it's all about two digits so first the food the, the, the type of food the taste that is relatable to the local second is the price very competitive price and um, like 99 pesos 49 39 
like for the coffee you can have a, a cup of coffee um, it is priced like 39 pesos and some others um, does buy one take one you know 89 pesos buy one take one and um, so yeah that's it um, the price is affordable with any walks of life either students a stay-at-home mom or a worker you know you are a tricycle driver you are anything any walks of life they can afford it so it's the second thing right so that's the first food second is the price and third is social media um thing that i noticed with regards with the booming or trending businesses here especially about the food yeah they collaborate with uh, facebook pages that has many followings and um and also they collaborate with the vloggers the the vloggers that are known with the young people the young generations the gen z so yeah that's what they do and then they're gonna make it trending and then so that's why i i go to these places because i know because i saw it on social media so that's how they connect the people that's how they market their products or their businesses easily and it works other um that's the three things there are a lot of things that i noticed but that is the the best three that I noticed, especially here in Lapu Lapu City, it's getting after the pandemic. People are, you know, are very ecstatic to go out, to hang out with friends. You know, it's starting to get um, to get very crowded again. People are, you know, um, buying buying the products, going out. You know, it's alive again. It's lively again. So. So maybe you notice it too in your place, uh, in any places in Philippines, you guys. The wise way, in smart ways, with regarding your products, you know, selling the products. So I guess that's it for today, guys, because I'm gonna work out with my. Oops, sorry, my video got corrupted. By the way, thank you so much guys for watching. I hope you enjoy this video and if you do, please do give me a thumbs up, share, comment, and subscribe if you have not subscribed yet. See you on the next upload. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. Bye-bye.